And I'm Judy Keith. And we're doing a scene from Olive Olive. and the Bitter Herbs. Herbs. Uh, actually, I have been doing acting on and off since I was in high school. Um, and I have some experience uh, in um, the stage and ballet as well from uh, a period of time much earlier in my life than I did. Uh, beyond that, I have been on a number of boards of directors of, of theater groups locally and elsewhere. I would agree because you're always looking for the next job. It doesn't matter how old you get. You're always thinking, okay, am I too old for that? Am I not old enough for that? And there are things now that I'm not old enough for, so I'm, I can't wait. Uh, me. Yes, he's charming, lovely, charming man. To answer that question seriously, um, I've met many people who are like Olive, who are gruff on the exterior, but have great depth inside them. And so the issue is, as always, is to figure out how to let them bring out that interior character that is really who they are. Um, yes, not a female, but somebody that I, I look up to as the curmudgeon of all time. You want to take that one, Paul? <laughs> I like to look in mirrors. I like to look in mirrors. You know what I like is in the elevators when they have those mirrors and mirrors like this and it just goes on and on forever and ever and ever. And ever. I'm going to Disney World and I'll carry it with me. I have a great mantle. Got lots of space on it for things like this. <laughs> I think mantle should be good. Shannon McGrath. I know that, and you know, you won't have it. Hey, Bo Sonnenberg, one thing you ought to do the next morning, Meals on Wheels should deliver a crow. We'll send a helping to Chuck Huber, too. Yeah. And Sharon, justice is about to be done. <laughs>